Hi, I'm Colin. I'm James. And welcome to Let's Talk Retro. Today we're going to show you some of our favourite Christmas gaming magazines. So to kick off this Christmas magazine's uh, front page special, we've got computer and video games from December 1982. And it's 75p. That's a great price. Um, features some games, Star Guard, Space Roller, and they put here whatever games, well, whatever computers they cover. They've got the ZX81, the Vic, the Tandy, the BBC, and many more, so they're covering everything, really. So it's a really retro sort of time for this magazine, and they've got an Electronic Games Christmas special as well. I suppose that's probably like the grandstand games and things yeah, like that. Yeah, little handheld LCD things, probably. Yeah, and they cover, uh, it's not Space Invaders, but it's Santa Invaders. <laughs> And it's, uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea, and uh, I think I actually do, I think it's going way, way back, but I do actually remember that one on the actual shelves of the newsagents back oh, in wow. 1982. I so. can see instead of the UFO, they've got a reindeer pulling a sleigh. That's, yeah. that's different. So yeah, it's a pretty cool magazine cover to start with, I think. Now we're sick of being told you never cover anything for Sinclair users. Well, here we go. Sinclair user issue number 21. And it's a bumper Christmas issue. And it's only 75 pence yet again. And it's uh, featuring this rather dodgy looking Father Christmas, slightly rosy cheeked. Yeah, he's got wine. Is that, well, yeah, wine, some biscuits, and a cigar on. Yeah. Go. But he's got his uh, spectrum in his hand. There's a joystick in there. Is that joystick? He's unwrapping some joysticks and some other stri stuff. So, uh, interesting features is the new business software survey. I suspect that was really interesting. Software, <laughs> software for Christmas stockings. <laughs> special festive competition. And, and uh, face, yeah, the, the, the Cambridge Award. <laughs> <laughs> the Cambridge Award winners announced. announced yeah. yeah. So, it was all action in Sinclair User there back in the. December, I suppose it was, was it? It was just says issue number 21, didn't it? Oh, December 1983 yeah, at the top. there we go. Yeah. He looks so, pretty rosy. and But yeah, cigar with a Santa, yeah. that's a bit... Anyway. Pretty what, dodgy looking Santa. What were they thinking? <laughs> Staying with Sinclair, and it's your Sinclair this time, and it's their fifth birthday edition. And it's uh, from 1991, this one. And it's a very festive looking cover on that. Yeah, the... Um, well, Gazza's on the front. Um, <laughs> Fog of the famous, time. Yeah, <laughs> famous footballer. Wearing a Christmas hat. Looks a bit more like a spitting image yeah. character. And looks like gremlins are all over the place on this. There's two featured on the tree. And it looks like the first review of Turtles. Yeah. So they've got a Christmas joystick round up. There's a uh, competition as well. Yeah. Your Sinclair so, goes to Russia. Wow. The worst specky games of all time. It's probably not hard. <laughs> say that coming from a Commodore <laughs> fanboy here and uh, says uh, what no free cassette well we always used to have them we yeah. used to go in the news agents always missing the cassettes and then off the front you'd ask and they'd never have it no because someone's nicked yeah, it yeah because it's been pinched yeah. so uh, yeah so that's uh, Sinclair your Sinclair from December 1991 back when Gaza was very popular yeah big Christmas reviews Here we go with another Sinclair user, and this one features the mighty Hulk Hogan before he got in a load of trouble, Bart Simpson and Dizzy down the bottom. And uh, yeah, so there's T2, they're also reviewing, um, what else they got? On tape, the animator, fully usable graphics and animation package. So yeah, a bit of fun with that, never used it. Crystal Kingdom uh, reviewed. Yeah, that's um, with Dizzy. Football Manager 3. And so, yeah, pretty Christmassy cover. Hulk Hogan pointing at you, Bart doing a dance, and Dizzy's in the snow for once. Yeah, boxing gloves, there's boxing gloves on, and uh, we've all got their Santa hats on. So, yeah, so, well, this was back when it was WWF as well, like on the Hulk Hogan's uh, hat, and had to change that later on, didn't they? Because it was also known as the World Wildlife Fund. That's it. Yeah, not a, not the greatest cover I've ever seen. Um, no. Obviously, it's all drawn, but, you know, it's it's better than I could do. Far <laughs> better than I could do. Moving on, and we've got Atari user from December 1985, and this cover just shakes 80s at you, doesn't it? Look at it. Disco hits. It's party time. <laughs> Remember all the old party hats and uh, 
Obviously, they're into their cocktails as well by the looks of it. But anyway, what about the games? What games did they have? It's, uh, it's party time. Make your micro mix the lights. Dance to the rhythm of the night. <laughs> Yeah, some <laughs> no, enticing stuff to get you to read. No mention of any games there, is no, there? No, there isn't. It's, but, not, um, it's all more computerised, isn't it, this one? That cocktail is probably a bit too close for my liking. <laughs> and and why there's a marrow behind it, I don't know. But it's, uh, yeah, it's balloons and it's yeah. disco time. You can strike gold in their free Christmas contest. And it's a pound. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, £55 in today's money. <laughs> Quite expensive, really, for back then, I would have thought. Right, fast forwarding now, we've got Amstrad Action from December 1994. And uh, what a jolly cover. Yeah, Dear Santa, find out what to ask for this Christmas with our guide to the best software and hardware. And the thing I was just looking at there, it says the future of Europe's PD scene. Public yeah, domain, remember it. that? Yep. What happened to the public domain scene? Public Where's domain. The is brilliant. Yeah, when they're public domain scene anymore. I used to really enjoy getting those games, mainly on the Amigas into the old public domain stuff. Yeah, so um, it looks like the two reindeer have given up with delivering presents and they've wrapped Santa up and he looks very mad and they're busy playing something. I don't know what that is, but they're playing something. And uh, they're playing two player, it looks, uh, it looks like they're having fun. Yeah, so obviously a cassette or something free with this, was it? So it says, is that a cassette? It says plus PD games plus PD utilities. There must have been like a disc yeah. or a cassette or something on the front there. And a DES demo. What's DES? What is that? Desktop you know environment system. Oh, yeah. So it says right, they, it says right underneath it. Does, it. Yeah. So I guess it's. Um, I'm not that familiar with Amstrad stuff, but I guess it's a uh, like some operating system that they've uh, put yeah. on there for you to try out. So moving on to 1992, and we've got the One for Amiga magazine. I remember these magazines uh, back in the day when I had my Amiga. And Father Christmas is asking, have you been good? Um, yeah, and he's uh, looking quite angry, and another Santa with a cigar. Yeah, it's a bit, it looks a bit of a psycho Santa, doesn't he? It does. <laughs> no more cassettes, though. This is this time now. Uh, yeah. So some playable demos. Looks like that might be Jimmy White's or something down the bottom, and a gunship game that I can't remember. And then not the, the disc on the top, there's some kind of Doctor Who game or demo or screensaver, something like that, and a Flying Santa game. So yeah, I love the one. Great magazine. It does actually say on there, that's complete Psycho Santa game. So it must be where you've got the picture ah. on the disc, there must be a Psycho Santa game, and that's where they got the Psycho Santa there. I don't have the disc for this, but I'm, I'm sure you can get them on um, and record them on, from an ADF if you ever wanted to play it. And it's got a review of Street Fighter 2. Yeah, loads of tips down the bottom as well. And Alien 3, do you remember that? KGB and Krusty's Funhouse. Yeah, I remember that. All good stuff. Now, fast forward exactly a year, and here's the one for Amiga. From January 1994, and it was £3.95. What a bargain. Two discs with it again, so they must have had bumper sales Christmas time. What looks like Zool in the bottom one. And this time Psycho Santa is playing cards. Win a thousand pounds. Is it looks like he's giving the V's as well. He does. <laughs> I wonder if the artist done that on purpose. Yes, he's giving the V's, he's got his cigar on. Looks pretty much like the same Santa as last year, so I guess it's obviously the same artist. And obviously when those games I don't know if it's a Zool one, but when it's a complete game against us, have a Merry Christmas ever but have the merriest Christmas ever with our exclusive complete game. Yeah, good stuff. I would have definitely bought this if I'd seen it in the shops. Um, but no, I don't have it. Went over £1,000 worth of games in their festive is it quiz. Yeah, yeah festive, festive quiz. quiz. That's probably one of those premium rate numbers that you have to ring. <laughs> probably. And it probably made a fortune off people ring it, but I was never allowed to enter those, unfortunately. No, I'm not uh, surprised. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, someone hopefully won £1,000. Okay, next up, Enforce. Do you remember that one? So this, uh, not to be confused with an, any kind of official Nintendo magazine, you've got Angry Santa again, but this time he's wrapped his guns up. Looks like guns, he's older than like guns. With a, like a badge on, your yeah, chimney's too small. So he's, uh, yeah, why he's carrying guns around, I don't know. And down the bottom, it looks like there's an alien head. In the bottom, bottom near the barcode, there's 
Is that an alien head with like a Rudolph nose on it and some antlers? Because that's what it looks okay. like to me. Yeah, so it looks like they borrowed the Psycho Santa from the One magazine, or the One for Amiga magazine, and uh, put them on their cover. And uh, the end of year goodie, your eight-page guide to buying festive games. I'm not sure what that Merry Mario bit's about. It looks like Mario's had far too much at Christmas, yeah. and he's having an afternoon sleep, but Mario madness inside. But hey, they've got some reviews, Super Star Wars, Roadrunner, and then... Like when NES games were getting reviewed in this, uh, Parasol Stars, Super Turrican, Game Boy Super Hunchbuck, and Xenon 2. And I've started to notice with all these covers, there seems to be a competition sort of theme. And there's uh, no exception here because you can win all this Chrissy, Chrissy loot, as they say. Hundreds of pounds worth of N Force goodies, uh, 10 Spy Club memberships, a petrol driven go kart, wow. believe it or not, yeah. And your very own Xmas party at N Force. Imagine what that would have been like. Yeah, I mean, who won that? Bring your parents as well. <laughs> but yeah, whether or not it was their Christmas party, I don't know. But sounds like a pretty amazing competition. Who can turn down a party at N Force? Now to wake everyone up, here is a sexy Santa from Amiga Computing. Now, what month is this? Doesn't say. Anyway, it's got Alien Breed 2. They're covering that. Uh, what else? They got some free. Oh, there you go. Christmas '95 on the cover disc there. Um, Image Engineer. Never heard of it. You ever used that? No, can't no, remember that. Even. And Sound Effects demo. And uh, they got some other utilities and stuff that you can um, uh, play like, with. Like all the little sexual in 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 your windows. <laughs> yeah. so easy for me to say. Uh, so they got some Christmas crackers and your top twenty stocking fillers unwrapped. I'll tell you what I do like the um, drawing of like circuitry of where the floppy disk would be. Oh, I right. think that's very clever. That's that. I never noticed that until you said. Yeah, it's good stuff. So if that last sexy Mrs. Santa didn't get your uh, pulse racing, then maybe this one will. And it's uh, a festive eight-page Christmas special, spectacular with Saturn Power. Yeah, from Christmas 1997. This was a future magazine. And uh, what they're covering up: oh, Quake, Sega Touring Cars, Enemy Zero, Formula Cars, Little Comeback Trilogy. Remember that? Yeah. What's that say at the top there? The, oh, the best value console mag at just two pounds fifty. I thought it said Mac for me. That's yeah, the, and the best set Saturn mag known to humanity. Mm. Well, there weren't really that many in the UK, was there? But no. hey, no. but she's uh, she's got a present, and it's uh, she's ready to give you a present. Yeah. Right, moving on again then. December 1997. Now, Nintendo Magazine, I love this magazine. I bought almost every issue. I think the first one came with a little LCD Game Boy. I might oh, wow. be wrong. It had a load of free gifts just to get you to buy it. Um, but yeah, great magazine, and Diddy Kong is slapped all over the front wearing a Christmas hat. Yeah, looking very Christmassy. And obviously, obviously, advertising Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, it's got a free book with it to give you a guide to the track and how to play it and how to beat the game. And then the giveaway on this was 32 Nintendo All-Star Battle Cards. So I guess it's like it's top trumps but with Nintendo characters. So yeah, it looks like a looks like a good fun very colorful front cover. Obviously you can see it's bright and grabs your attention. And you've got Mario giving you the thumbs up, and it's only £2.50. That's Nintendo 64 and for under, under £100. Wow, that must have been right That's when it, the price dropped. Yeah. Didn't it go to 79 99 something like that at one no, stage? But... Every game for Christmas rated. It Can't will... go wrong. Yeah. So moving on to January, or going back to January 1988, and it's uh, my favourite magazine from when I was a kid, Zap64. All the uh, covers are amazing. Uh, it's drawn by Oliver Frey, as many of you will know. And uh, this one is like uh, got Darth Vader in the background and he sort of like some sort of He-Man character. Um, it probably wasn't He-Man. It was probably something from. Oh yeah, this like, yeah, Masters of the Universe. Oh, it was, it was a He-Man game, right? And it's got a free giant poster. And just going back, I just always remember growing up and seeing all the Crash and Zap 64 magazines on the shelves uh, of the news agents and just growing up with Oliver's uh, artwork and uh, 
over six thousand pounds worth of competition prizes. Yeah, you can't turn your nose up oh, for that. That was a lot of money back then, wasn't it? Crazy. Now, why there is some guy on a is that a surfboard? Oh, a skate or dice. There's got to be a skateboard, skateboard, but it looks like yeah. he's trying to skate in snow, which isn't really going to happen. Yeah. What a cover. Okay, so st staying with Zap64, and this was back in the time when they started to incorporate the Amiga as well, so you can see underneath the Zap logo they've got C64 and Amiga. And there's another Ferrari on the front, and this is Turbo Outrun. And they've got some features there, stunt car racer, uh, interface. I think I remember playing that on the Amiga on an Amiga format demo disc, and it's like a 3D kind of vector right. game. I didn't think it was very good, but I probably didn't know what I was doing. Um, Cable, remember that? Was it Cabal? Cabal, I think. Yeah, yeah. Ocean what? Spectacular Love that game. Yeah. And they danced at the end, didn't they? When yeah. you went, and they'd hold their guns above their head and run, run into the. Uh, background. And as usual there's a competition with sack, sackfuls of Xmas goodies to be won. So and yet another uh, Zap 64 Christmas special again incorporating the Commodore 64 and the Amiga. 228 pages Christmas special. Another cover again done by Oliver Frey and uh, got Santa Claus just silhouetted over the moon. It's really the only sort of real Christmassy bit and the helicopter from Thunderblade. And of course, um, Oliver Frey, as I was telling you just now, he little little nugget of information. Um, he did the you know the artwork at the very beginning of the first Superman film. Oh wow! So uh, that was something that he did many many years ago as well. This obviously came with a mega tape, mega tape free. Yeah, the Pepsi Mad Mix Challenge. Mm, whatever that was. And um, is that gunship going to go after Santa? Because that's a, <laughs> that's a hell of a gun underneath that chopper. And then um, they've got obviously probably a review is it of Bamboozle, Bamboozle, the cute, cutest puzzle game around, remember that, and Nebulous, all the uh, Commodore 64 classics. More features than you can eat at, even at Christmas. And this time they've got £2,500 worth of prizes, it's all prizes at Christmas. Now jumping back to issue 21 of Zap 64 in uh, Christmas 1986. Now I'm not sure those choir boys if they're supposed to be aha or people that worked on the magazine, I don't know, but they do look like they're all singing or opening their mouths for some reason. And uh, yeah, they're reading their own magazine. This time it's over £9,000 worth of prizes. Mega, mega prizes. And a gauntlet arcade machine. Can you imagine winning that and having sure. to tell your parents, oh, I've won this arcade machine. Can we I'm, fit it in the can house? Can we fit it in the lounge? <laughs> <laughs> a ghetto blaster is also up for grabs. And, yeah, and a MIDI hi-fi system. Wow, MIDI hi-fis. It was, was a Christmas when uh, me and all my mates had BMXs for Christmas. Oh, you were spoiled. <laughs> So if you're a Spectrum fan, you're probably saying, enough zap, let's have some Crash. So here we go, it's the Crash Christmas special um, from, we're not sure what year, it's a bit hard to read up in the top right hand corner there, but I think it was about 1980 something or other. But it's a bit odd because it's black and white and then you've got this uh, suitcase photograph of these gold queens down the bottom left hand corner. Yeah, it looks like so someone must have been tipping coins into this suitcase as they <laughs> took the photo and then they cut it out and stitched it on the front. And there's obviously, as usual, a competition. I keep going on about the competitions. £9,000 worth of prizes to be won. And then win a football fortune. What's a football fortune when it's... Um, I don't know. Uh, and a £1,500 holiday from CDS. It's a change for it being, not being lollipop.com. And there's that bloke that's a bit odd. Up. It's, I mean, it's a bit odd that it's all black and white as well. I presume this is an Oliver, Oliver Frey um, creation. They usually were. Um, and there's a bloke up in the top right hand corner pulling his beard down, dressed up as Santa. It looks a bit like um, the old football manager, Brian Clough. <laughs> those of you that remember him. But as for what games were actually mentioned in this uh, issue, it's a bit hard to tell just by looking at the cover. Right, on to crash number 24 for Christmas 1985, back when it was £1.95. And it looks like Santa is giving a present of Space Invaders 
to a space invader that's got some kind of, yeah, obviously he's got his spectrum. I was going to say some kind of computer there, but obviously it's a spectrum. He's got his own uh, TV and a joystick, so uh, he's going to be happy playing with that. And dare I mention the competition? <laughs> £8,000. Win a colour telly. Micro drives. Micro drives. So that was an add on, was it? For I the, think so. For the Spectrum. The spectrum yeah. I'm not that clued out with Spectrums, no. unfortunately. Diaries, modems, books. Modems. Win a modem. Mm. And uh, there's a giant poster inside as well. So I don't know what that was, but you know, it's like a stick on your wall. Another crash here, Christmas special, obviously, because that's the theme of this video. And now we're on to January 1988. And uh, first thing I think we need to address uh, about this cover is the fact that the Pac-Men are using the wrong glass. They should really be using a champagne glass. That looks more like a martini glass to me. But anyway, they're <laughs> getting pissed. And kind of see them drinks glasses, right? Maybe? maybe, but it just, yeah, they're, they're firing... Um, firing the cork at a ghost so whether or not that goes through the ghost or not it looks like the ghost got boxing gloves on but yeah never mind a nice little detail is there's actually pac-man down the bottom there and he's reading a crash it looks like someone's had a bite out the top of it but there's <laughs> another poster giveaway and uh, down in the bottom corner as, as always of this theme of this video there's prizes galore because that's what sold magazines yeah we loved our competitions in the 80s obviously and it looks like here there's been some kind of contractual guideline where they've got to put the company that's given the prize away in the uh, description. And uh, also there's over 1,000, over 1,400 games rated in the Crash directory. So it's quite a lot of games. That is a stack of games. But what is, on, this, on these prizes, a ball and ball breaker from CRL? What's a ball breaker? Ah, there wasn't that like, an exercise thing. For doing your chest exercises. Is that what right? it's called? Right. A ball breaker? I think so. I'm going to have to Google that. I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. So now we're moving on to a different sort of magazine, and it's Total Game Boy. And uh, they've got the Grinch on the cover. And for once, unbelievably, batteries are included. They are. In this, uh, this magazine, they were giving away a pack of two double A's. For your Game Boy, well, for your Game Boy Color, because like you say, the original Game Boy took four bat batteries. Uh, Game Boy Pocket took two, but I think they were AAA. So it must have been for the Game Boy Color. Yeah, that's it. And there's a lovely big drawing of the Grinch and some Donkey Kong and yeah. Diddy Kong in the background. Donkey Kong saying, bah humbug. <laughs> yeah, and then down the bottom, you might be able to see this, plus uh, Monkey Puncher. So you ever played Monkey Puncher? Mm. I mean, either Pokemon trading card game, Donald Duck, GTA 2, mm. Jungle Book, The Mummy, Animorph, Smurfs, and a partridge in a pear tree. So they no. covered everything. Everything included for Christmas. Now, what do you want on your Amiga magazine? I know I want loads of discs, and this had three. Count them. Three! Yeah, it's a three disc Christmas extravaganza. And let's have a look what you got. So, um, first one in top left is Jet Pilot, but you need a one mega Amiga for that. So, unlucky if you had the bog standard one. Yeah. Uh, next disc requires Workbench 2.04 and a hard drive and four mega RAM. So, <laughs> you're screwed unless you didn't have all those add ons. That's for Draw Studio. And then finally, Slipstream. So, it's a demo of. Uh, Wipeout clones, so at least they weren't, you know, trying to make it make out they weren't they were making something unique. They mm. blatantly put this a demo of a wipeout clone. Mm. And some say that this cover is the only real picture of Santa Claus. Well, it's the first Amiga uh, computer magazine anyway, with a friendly looking uh, Santa Claus on it. Ho ho ho. Now, sticking with the mighty Amiga. You've got the mighty Amiga format magazine, and what a magazine that was. And they're wishing us all the very best in this uh, Christmas 1993 edition. Came with two cover discs, and look at the bottom cover disc. It's Canon Soccer. Yes, Canon Soccer. Apparently it's um, a version of Canon Fodder and Sensible Soccer somehow combined to make a game. If you've not played that, you need to immediately. I think I remember it, but I can't remember actually playing it. I remember the name. and. 
seen the disc, I think, but I can't remember ever actually playing it. What a combination. <laughs> now we've got to stick with Amiga format to show you this cover. From Christmas 1995, a three disc bumper special. And you've got Amos Professional free. So 50 quid they're claiming this was. It probably was about that at the time. Um, I never got on with it because it was uh, you know, a bit too complicated for me, but I'm, uh, I'm only simple. But that, that came free and there was a Sensible World of Soccer demo. And down the bottom is Lion King as well. And uh, they've got a competition down the bottom there. Just not, not, not as promoted in it as much as they did in the 80s. Uh, £3,000 worth of A4000 with warp engine and co a copy of Lightwave 3D. Yeah, well, that would have been, you know, that would have tickled everyone's taste buds. And it's still now. Yeah, uh, plus the Amiga Shopper supplement. So um, you do all your Christmas shopping, we're looking at the Amiga Shopper supplement. It's a great cover. It's so colourful. It sort of leaps out at you. It's got and, balls. Uh, yeah, it's got. It has. It certainly has got balls, and they're hanging on a tree. <laughs> what a great cover! So fast forward about thirty years, we're going to finish off with a couple of our favourite retro gaming magazine that's going today. Of course, it's Retro Gamer, and this festive special. And you may notice that the uh, the way the artwork looks. And again, this is done by Oliver Frey, that did the uh, Zap and Crash covers back in the day. Yeah, Santa's giving out presents here. There's um, there's some lucky fella down the bottom with a rather strange kind of penis-looking nose. <laughs> um, but he's opened up and he's got a spectrum. So he, he looks delighted. And then there's a guy behind him reading a retro gamer. And um, there's various other people queuing up to get presents from Santa. And on to our last cover of this video. and. Uh... It's Retro Gamer yet again, and they've also enlisted the help of Oliver Frey to draw this cover for them. So this Christmas issue is all about 25 years of Rare. And if you have a look around the picture here, there's loads of different Rare characters. And uh, some nice little ornaments on the tree. So there's a, a Crash and a, a Zap64 uh, decorations. There's uh, one of the guys from Battletoads. It looks like he's toasting um, Christmas in, so that's good. There's Joanna Dark, I guess. Uh, sat in front of her computer and she's on the wine too and uh, right in the middle who can mistake conquer so that was a collection of uh, gaming magazines christmas gaming magazines for uh, covers from christmas past we try to make it a bit of a mixed bag to cover all kinds of formats. Yeah, there's Amiga and there's Amstrad, um, Game Spectrum, Boy. Yeah, Commodore. Uh, so yeah, it was quite good fun looking back through those and remem remembering some of those. I used to grow up going into the local news agents and mm. using it as a library, <laughs> looking through other magazines. And those were the sort of covers you used to see on the mm. shelves. So it was uh, a really good uh, fun going back and looking at some of those. But I never entered any of the competitions. No, I don't think I did either back in the day, no. So uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, we hope you're all having a really good Christmas mm. and or having a good Christmas. And uh, don't forget, if you're bored, we've got lots of videos. That you yeah, can watch. we've got a massive back catalogue of loads of videos if you're really bored over Christmas and want to escape the relatives. <laughs> so have a good one, everyone, and we will see you again soon. Take care. <laughs>